for it that you do there. Let me get some. Don't, don't let my phone fall. Don't let mine. Oh my, you're doing this Oh wait, again? no wait, this works. It's out of tilt now. There's oh, no way. Oh, that's perfect. You've done this before and it's cracked before. No, that's just, oh, oh shoot. I threw the gum out and it, it went straight down. It might be on the car. Stop. <laughs> you and Andrew love to do that. <laughs> Oh, it's on the car. Get it off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you and Andrew just love doing that, don't you? I need right, some wait, bubble wish just to get some energy. Or have a bubba. Oh. Go in. Eat some room. Um, remember when you blamed Matt for doing it, but you spit it right <laughs> outside and, and it was dripping down? Are we getting on the turn? I don't know. I think we are. Look at this person behind us. Hop off, buddy. Look, he's looking at us. Hop off. Shut your Shut your freaking trunk. trunk. <laughs> Driving you know. with your trunk open. Don't mess beeping at us. Don't. What an idiot. Well, I ordered... We'll give a little recap. I ordered um two packs of Bubblicious. Um, both bubblegum flavor and strawberry good the bubble gum is the best one you never got it yet i know i didn't have it on automatic order are you going on the right spot yeah it says to all right i'm gonna put easy pass up here you're very unsafe when driving well right now i'm a little flustered because i don't know where we're going but like where i am going looks like we're turning over here you're getting peeped at <laughs> So yeah, and then uh, my Bubblicious order hasn't come yet. I ran out of shampoo completely, which was a surprise to me because usually when you run out of shampoo, you can take off the lid and like pour the rest in your hand. But I tried that and there was literally none left. So I haven't had been able to use shampoo in two days. The first day that this happened to me was yesterday and I just had to do a conditioned shower. Then this morning, I just had nothing, so I didn't even wash my hair, <laughs> and it was just really terrible. And also, yesterday was a terrible day. Oh, I need my phone. I don't know what I need here. Yesterday was an awful day. I'll just keep my story going. Well, I go to pick up Lily, and then my car engine like freaks out, but it's really just doing a major like joke on. Um, me because there was nothing wrong with it it turns out they were like just driving it around and they're like oh yeah we can't we can't find anything wrong with it but they were just like messing around for like hours and then dad wouldn't take me to pick up the car because he was stalling and then I told Gerb she was freeloading off dad by making her oh, what she and said. then she got all mad that's why she wasn't talking to me today because I told her I was like why aren't you buying your own car? You literally buy nothing. And then she's like, would you buy it? And I was like, yeah, if I had a full-time job and I wasn't paying for anything else. And then I was like, are you going to be paying for gas? And she was like, <laughs> I'm like, you make fun of Pat for not having a job, but I'm pretty sure his parents don't pay for everything. Like, I've bought the Gerb already. No, she hasn't bought her car because she's waiting for dad to buy it. See, she said, she was like, fine, I'll just buy it all myself. But clearly she won't. Oh, and she doesn't want to. Yeah. So, and then I was uh, freaking out. I didn't get to leave yesterday until 3 o'clock. And then I got home and um, I took a shower. And I was lucky to take a shower because right after I took a shower, the water and electric went out. And I'm like, oh my god. And so then, it didn't come on until very late at like 7 30 so then i had to quickly do my wash at night very late and then in the middle of the night my washer like freaked out like it why are you going over there where? why are you saying this slowly well because i'm running in the where is it i don't know now what would you make me do <laughs> terrible and anyway 
there was a cockroach in my shower this morning and I was just like, what else is going to happen? There's obviously one more big thing that's going to happen, but like when? I don't know. But I won't be surprised. Maybe I'll be disappointed, but not surprised. And then today, we went to Home Depot after I intercepted Lily from mom today. <laughs> Pick up, I told her, you stay home, I'm getting Lily. <laughs> and then I stole her from swimming. And we take this exit. Not this one, but we will be. Are we taking the Fort Washington one? I don't know. Yeah, I think we are. So then we just went to Home Depot because we're making some major renovations. I have big plans to hopefully have a great Halloween party this year. I won't be attending. Here's the thing though, who are you going to invite? It won't be my party, it'll be your guys' party. No, not, I won't. A, not at that house. Why? No. Why? Because it says we're going to get off here. Why? Because unless you want the house ruined, I don't think you would want to have a party at our house. What if I yell at your friends? <laughs> Halloween tea party for us during the day. That makes more sense. It'll be a Halloween dress up party. Alright. And um, you can bring whoever. Or maybe it'll just be the family. Who's gonna go to that? Maybe just the family. Maybe nobody will even come. <laughs> no, it's maybe I'll anything. just be sitting at the table in like a witch costume. Yeah, you're just gonna be sitting there by yourself. <laughs> Oh, hey, you want some tea? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, but the main thing is that we want to have a. Like, is this cop get mad that we're doing this video? No. He's just really looking that hard. We'll see. We'll tell him where he's at. We're, we're filming for MTV or something. Um. Anyway, the main reason is because. <laughs> I ordered little ones of them, but they're not coming in. Yeah, see this one has a cut in the top, so some comes out of there, so I don't even need to open it to get it out. But yeah, we're going to have a major Christmas party this year. Hopefully the kitchen will be done in time and everything, because going up to Reading is just like terrible. It's about time that I start throwing parties. Yeah, but here's the thing. Who are you gonna invite? Just family. I don't have any friends. But like, I would just want to throw the parties. I'm not saying that I want to party. Like, perhaps I just get everything together and then I go in my room what while the party's party going on. What kind of party are we talking about? Well, I'm talking about the family Christmas like get together. Do you think that's how the party would be if we if, if me and Andrew invited our friends? What? I think if we if we have them, I mean, if you say, oh, Lily, we throw a party at our house. You think we're just gonna be eating dinner and that's it? Eating dinner and talking? Well, I would expect not. But that's not the kind of party that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a rowdy teenage party. I'm talking about like the family Christmas party that everybody looks nice in, and the family all gets together and has a nice ravioli for dinner, which I hate. <laughs> I don't understand the whole ravioli situation, first of all. Yeah. And I gotta say, it's not great. <laughs> Man hypes it up so much. He hypes it up, and it's not even cheesy. It's like bland ravioli. So, there's that. And if anybody asks, I never said a thing. <laughs> oh, and Allison, you don't like my ravioli? <laughs> It's just, I don't, I don't really know what's so great about it. I don't know how, I mean, it's fine. Like, I've had much I, better ravioli in my life, so, I, don't, I just I don't, don't know. And then, everything I would say is subpar besides the cheese ball. But you don't even eat it. But I don't even eat it anymore because I'm lactose intolerant, and it's a big risk. Why are you always driving this slow lane? That's what I'm wondering. Because there's no reason to be passing people. I'm in no rush. I mean, 
didn't even there. tell them about our Home Depot run. I thought we did. All we said was that we went to Home Depot, but All we right, never told them the about story. It. We are doing, oh that's why, because I said this is what exactly what I said. We are doing major renovations, and then I said a little party ball. But, but anyway, uh, the bathrooms and stuff like that. So we picked out these little slabs. Show them off. Hold them. What, do, what am I supposed to do? Use my fingers to show them? So yeah, so that's like going to be our bathroom. Um, that, that could be your own pin picture. <laughs> on the YouTube video. Yeah. Alright. I don't think I choose, I never choose them. They just automatically go. Okay, you choose that choose one. Them. And then if, if it comes up on someone's random, like, YouTube, they'll be like, Ooh, this looks cool. And then watch and they'll be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, what the hell? So, this is, like, probably part one of our designing experience. I'd say it's, like, the pre, the prelude. I don't even know if I'm called that because we don't really have anything like no momentum yet. But I guess maybe with these samples that we got, we have a little bit. And I told Lily when we were picking out the paint that it has to be a combination of white, gray, and blue, but very, very subtly and very light. So it has to look almost white, but with a tint of blue and gray. So, these are what we've got. We'll see how it goes. Because sometimes they look very light on the paper and then they get on the wall and they're dark. We're only looking at the top, the top options up there. <laughs> yeah, we're only looking at the top options there. But, yeah. And then, the major project is going to be the kitchen which would be amazing. We already picked out a touchscreen refrigerator. You know. And now, you know, I mean, just because. So, that's what we got going on today. And now, Lily is gonna go to Michael's house for probably 12 hours. We don't really know. What dad said, Come home at a reasonable time, I said. Okay, what time is that? A reasonable time. Well, a reasonable time, I would say, is before 10 p.m. I was home before 10. Alright. He called me, like, you gotta come home. And I'm like, he's like, gotta come home before 9. And I'm like, well, and then his dad just started making us food and stuff. I'm like, can't leave. And like, like, what am I supposed to do? How do you guys eat till late? Yeah, I don't know. They eat late. So do you. Well, I ask because no one's home to make food. So. Wow. Check that out. We eat around 7.30. Usually like 8.30. Yeah, that's true. It is my new whole food, but like, not really new anymore. 